woke up, her face was on fire. Bombs had fallen from the sky. And her face was in flames. She couldn't scream. The burning encircled on her throat like a falling tower. Just as the flames were entering her eyes, she pressed her torn blanket and then put out the flames, but stuck to the melted skin when she pulled it off. She lost most of her cheeks, most of her forehead and chin. This was not a dream. There was nowhere to go. There was nothing to say as they wandered the street of Baghdad. Her father, unable to look at his only daughter, oozing through the bandages he made of white rags, hated her looking like that, hated whoever she had become, no longer a relative, no longer someone he knew, no longer a woman he could mirror off. But still, something he was responsible for. He hated the planes that dropped from the sky, who promised freedom and instead destroyed. He hated those planes, but right now, he hated his bandages, melted, needy daughter more. Islamabad. <laughs> First time, he grabbed the closest thing. He grabbed the pot. He smashed her head. He smashed her right eye hard. The next time, he thought about it a little and paused. Took off his belt. She had gashes inside her thighs. The third time, he needed to be more involved in hurting her. So he beat her with his fists. He broke her nose. <coughs> Don't ask what she had done. It was just her face that pissed him off. Just her needy face, waiting for more. The last time he had enough of her, he planned it out. He got the acid in advance. He poured it in a jar. She said she needed money for food for them. She looked like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Her face is gone. Totally melted off. Just eyes. That's all you see. That's all. Just eyes encased in gooey flesh. I tell you this because she's there inside this mask. Inside this monstrous mask. Inside the death of her esteem. Inside her wish. Inside his <coughs> wish to make her not. She's there, I swear. I heard her wheeze. I heard her sigh. I heard her babble something with what was once her mouth. I heard her, I swear. She lives in there. Wise. Each woman is dark particular, John. Each woman has brown eyes. Each woman is gone. There is one girl that is missing for 10 months. She was 17 when they take her away. She worked in the maquiladora, four dollars a day. It must have been on the way to the bus. They took her. 
It must have been dark outside. It must have lasted until morning. Whatever they did to her, it went on and on. You can tell from the others who show up without hands or nipples, it must have gone on and on. When she finally reappeared, she was born, born, born. No cute mole above her right eyes, no nice smile, no wavy black hair. Born, she came back born. She and the others, all beautiful, all beginnings, all coupons, all faces, all gone. 300 faces gone. 300 noses, 300 sheets, 300 dark, penetrating eyes, 300 smiles, 300 colored cheeks, mulatto, 300 hungry mouths about to speak, about to tell, about to scream. Gone. Now, gone. Thank you.